Good morning, I'm Danny. Today is November 14th and here are your morning announcements. Hey Almiral, the fall show Amadeus is coming up on November 14th to 16th. Want a chance to win a free ticket? Each day this week there will be a trivia question. The first eight people to answer this question will receive one free ticket. There are only eight tickets per day. When you know the answer, go to the front office and collect your voucher. Please bring your voucher with you to any of the shows from November 14th to November 16th to receive your free ticket from the box office. You will not receive a free ticket without your voucher. Good luck, everyone. Here is today's question. What was the last piece of music Mozart composed? Attention people in French Honor Society. Come to French Honor Society annual French Film Festival today from 4 to 6.30 in rooms 126, 128, and 130. Several films of a variety of genres will be shown and snacks will be provided. Admission is $2. Bring your friends. Attention students, enter the Almaro High School Shakespeare competition for a chance to win a trip to New York and possibly England. The competition will take place Tuesday, December 9th in the AHS Auditorium at 4 p.m. There will be an information meeting to answer any questions you may have about the competition Wednesday, November 19th between 4 and 5 p.m. in the drama room. See Ms. Cunningham in room 41 or Ms. Pruitt in room 226 for applications. Welcome to the Jamal Show. Today I'm interviewing Ms. Tyson, the athletic director. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right. So my path as an athletic director. Uh, I guess I started out. I started out as a college coach in volleyball, coaching in Nebraska, and then to, at James Madison, and then at University of Virginia, and then. Um, wanted a little bit more balance in my life and didn't even know where Albemarle High School was. Came in to see if they, if they even had ADs in high school and they said yes. Talked to the lady on a walkie, on that thing right there. And they called her for lunch duty. We had a conversation and a year later she retired and, and, that ha and I was AD. So, um, and that was before, you know, you were kind of born 25 years ago. So that's how we're going to do this, right? Okay, so, um, wow, favorite moment in Amaro Sports, that's a tough one because there's been a lot of them. We have about 600 games a year, so you take that times 25, carry the one, a lot of games, right? One of a really neat memory, though, was unfortunately when we lost Sidney Ikes um, years ago in a, in a um, tragic accident, and her favorite colors were pink and green. She was a soccer player. and. Our soccer team chose to go on with their season and traveled to Riverbend, which is uh, their opponent that night. So it was an away game at a place they hadn't played before. The first night they had played without Sydney, and Riverbend had pink and um, green balloons for them in memory of Sydney, and they all gathered in the middle of the field and let the balloons go. So that was really a really cool thing. Okay, don't text and drive, okay? All right, let's see. Next, uh, things you look for in a coach when you're hiring. I just want somebody who's a good person and has fun and loves kids, and, and hopefully they know a little bit about the sport. But um, you combine that together, you get a good teacher, you get a good person who can relate to kids and, and motivate and love what they're doing on the first day of practice, um, just like they do on the last day of practice, and everybody's going to have a positive experience. So. Wow, the best all-around athlete is probably uh, Carl Jones. You know Carl Bubba? He's yeah, he work he he works the hall. Everybody knows Bubba. Great athlete, quick, fast, jumps high. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> you don't want under this, Jamal. All right, bring it on, dog. That's all for now. Have a great day.
Thank <laughs> you.